in this part we'll be talking about the head region of cockroach and the mouth part head and mouth part as we have already discussed that the head is at right angles to the body that means if the body is like this the head is going to be at right angle and the mouth is on the lower side that means it is hyponathus now if we look at the head from the front side it is made up of six pieces that is six uh, exoskeletal pieces which join to form the head region we don't see all these six pieces in adult uh, cockroaches so six pieces join to form this so if you see the head which is from the front there <coughs> it looks little triangular and there are two large compound eyes which are visible these compound eyes they are made up of and this is only the front view but if we draw the side view say for example this is the head connected with the neck region here here in this part there are large compound eyes because we are looking at it from the front we would see the compound eyes only from this region but a major part is on the other side also each compound eye is made up of many units and each unit is known as one ometidium ometidium that means this is like a simple eye and many such simple eyes are placed together and this entire structure which is visible here is the compound eye and what happens in this case is each eye is going to make a segment of the image so the image would be seen as if there are smaller pieces joined together to form that per one particular image such image is known as mosaic image now in front of the eyes the compound eyes there is a socket and in this socket is present the antenna so there are two antennae each antenna has three parts there is a basal part which is slightly broader it is known as scape s c a p e scape and then there is a little narrower part which is called the pedicel so this part is pedicel and then starts that thin and slender structure which is tapering that is the filament or the antenna part so there are three parts there is a scape here then pedicel and then the long filament behind this that uh, depression which is here behind this depression we find two dot like structures and these are again the simple eyes so when we look at it from the front what is going to be visible we would draw the scape here then the pedicel part and the long antenna so this is what is visible when we see it from the front side and these are the simple ossicles or the simple eyes which are visible here we said there are six pieces where are these six pieces as i said in the beginning we don't see these six pieces clearly they are fused but in younger stage when it is a young cockroach then there are those lines which are visible these lines are in the form of an inverted y so the two pieces these two pieces they are called the epicranial pieces so this makes two the number now this bigger piece is known as frons and now below the frons there is one piece which is called here 
it is called the clypeus and there are two pieces on the side these pieces are known as gina so this makes total six pieces one two that is epigranial three four clypeus five and six because these gina are in pieces and in this part we would find the mouth parts so we will draw the mouth parts once we understand all individual mouth parts the mouth parts are biting and chewing type biting and chewing type it has one piece which is called the upper lip or the labrum labrum or upper lip the piece the mouth parts in case of cockroach are in pieces so there is a separate piece which is going to act like the upper lip there is a piece which is going to act like a lower lip we'll draw that there there are some triangular structures which have chitinous edges so here we would have these triangular pieces with chitinous teeth like structures this is the mandible now there are maxillae each maxilla has few parts now each maxilla would have some long strand like structures which are called the maxillary palps and this has five segments so one is here the other one is going to be on the other side so this structure is maxilla and this one is known as the maxillary palp it helps the insect to hold the food so there would be one maxilla here now let us come to the lower lip the lower lip also has a bigger piece a smaller and there are these two structures where there are few bristles and this also has three segmented palps these are known as the lower lip is known as labia and these are known as labial palps so the, here we can just draw one so this is going to be the maxilla here so paired structures are mandibles and maxilla upper lip and lower lip are this is known as the lower lip they are individual pieces now how is the arrangement the arrangement is there is one piece which is acting like upper lip there is a piece which is acting like lower lip separate now beneath the upper lip there are these two mandibles which are going to move like this so that the food can be cut into pieces and what is that structure which is going to put the food here so that it can be cut that will be done by the maxillary palps so these maxillary palps are going to hold the food here so that the mandible can chop it and those pieces would fall on the lower lip and then with the help of a structure which we will be drawing now that chopped food will be swallowed that small piece is known as we may not see this in our line it is called hypopharynx it acts like tongue acts like tongue and it would help the insect to put those chopped pieces back into the buccal cavity now there's one more important thing this hypopharynx also has an opening here there is an opening at the base of this and this opening is of the salivary duct we'll see the location of salivary duct when we come to the digestive system so these are the parts mouth parts upper lip lower lip a pair of mandibles and a pair of maxillae now if we see it from here 
what is going to be visible? We would say the upper lip only. So here this upper lip would be visible. This upper part. So this is visible. Then from the sides there would be this maxilla part visible. And extending from these maxilla we would also see this five segmented maxillary pulp. Lower lip will not be visible. Mandibles will also not be visible. But imagine if this structure is placed behind it. We would see from here these labial palps. So maxilla is visible. Upper lip is visible. Lower lip is not visible and these labial palps are visible. So this is how the head looks and these are the biting and chewing type of mouth parts in case of cock.